We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Welcome to The Fridge. My name's Ben and this is Jamie. And today, three ultimate versions of a sausage roll, the ultimate pig. Hey everyone, we've been really busy making sausage rolls. We've each made our own version. They each get a little bit more complicated as they go. We're gonna eat them, we're gonna compare them, we're gonna argue, but most of all, we're gonna end this video full. Jamie, we're gonna start with you, aren't we? I have got some very quick and very easy sausage rolls for you. How quick and easy can quick and easy sausage rolls be? This quick and easy. All we're gonna need is a small selection of dried herbs and spices, sausage meat, ready-made pastry, and an egg. And to make life even quicker and easier for these quick and easy sausage rolls, I'm gonna be using this quick and easy thing. First up, let's talk about our dried herbs and spices. We have onion powder, we have garlic powder, we have nutmeg, and we have fennel seeds. They're gonna add a really delicious flavor to our sausage meat. But because we're using whole fennel seeds, we're gonna chuck them all into here, blend them up until they're really fine and small so you're not chewing through massive fennel seeds in your sausage rolls. And then we'll do a quick switcheroo for this bit with a food processor with the blade. We can whack our sausage meat in, add in the herbs and spices, gloss over the fact that I said whack in sausage meat and maybe replace that with a gently place your sausage meat. And then we can whiz it all up. Now, that smells like an amazing sausage roll. Now I couldn't confidently stand here and tell you that these are quick and easy sausage rolls if we weren't using quick and easy pre-made puff pastry. Even quicker and easier, we've got pre-rolled. Only an idiot would want to make their own puff pastry for sausage rolls. Roll out your pastry, add a lovely line of sausage meat all the way down the middle, then fold over, seal with an egg wash, Cut into fours, you should get two rows of fours from this. Egg wash all over. And as if all of this wasn't enough to convince people that your quick and easy sausage rolls were beautifully handmade, why not sprinkle over a few fennel seeds just to add that artisanal touch. Stick them in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 18 to 20 minutes. Oh, they're cute. Oh, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caterpillars, very yeah. nice, thank you. <laughs> well, what if you took those caterpillars, made them big, and they're a little bit more rustic looking, but also made them vegan? It's the worst looking butterfly I've ever seen. Let's not get bogged down in semantics. I am gonna make a vegan sausage roll. Think of it as like a nut roast or something like that. I wanna take all of the characteristics of sausage and pack it into pastry and make it vegan. So let's see how that goes. Here is what I'm using. Mushrooms, celery, onion, garlic, ground flaxseed, a bunch of nuts, sage, rosemary, lemon, bread, vegan cheddar, and vegan puff pastry, which we're gonna get to later. But I'm also using this ting. I am starting by peeling my veg, so taking the outer layers of my mushrooms off. roughly chopped celery, and then that goes into my food processor to blend up. Right, that has blitzed off lovely. Now that's going into a hot pan with oil, and it's gonna fry off for about 10 minutes because there's so much moisture in the onions and the mushrooms that you want it to go lovely and caramelized, so it's gonna take a little while. While that sweats off, see this here? This is ground flaxseed. And when you add water to this, it soaks up all the moisture and goes all paste-like. And that is what we're gonna to use to bind all of our onion and our nuts and our bread mix once we've zhuzhed it all up. The bread gets blitzed up first and once it becomes bread crumbs, then in with all my other ingredients. So that's Brazil nuts, almonds, hazelnuts, pistachios, sage, rosemary, lemon zest, and vegan cheese. 
my flaxseed paste, and all of my amazing oniony, garlicky, mushroomy paste. Season it with salt and pepper. Wow. This is puff pastry. Is vegan puff pastry? Is it marketed as vegan puff pastry? No, because most puff pastries that you buy in your supermarket are vegan. Don't take my word for it though, check the back before you buy it. But in this case, 100% vegan, no butter included. I'm gonna spoon my faux sauce mixture into the middle of my pastry. Brush the far end with some water and cornstarch because that's gonna be my binder because I can't use egg. Roll it, chop it down the middle, score it onto a baking tray lined with baking paper. And because I've made Whoppers, they go into an oven at 180 degrees C for 20 minutes. Ah, yeah. Like you've gone for yeah. length. I've gone for big. Whereas I've just gone for layers, layers and layers and layers of layers. For ultimate sausage rolls, we're gonna make our own rough puff pastry. We're gonna make our own homemade ground sausage meat. It's going to be excellent, I hope. Caveat, I've only made rough puff pastry once. I'm gonna need some ice cold diced butter, some strong white flour, salt, egg wash, smoked paprika, cumin seeds, pork belly, pork shoulder, and one of these. So first up, I've diced the butter nice and small, but I've also made sure it stayed chilled. So that's come straight from the fridge and with the flour and the salt, I'm gonna pulse it in a food processor with a knife blade. You don't wanna make it completely breadcrumb consistency. You still want lumps of butter. So only pulse it a few times. At this point, you want to take all of this, place it into the bowl with a dough hook and your amount of water, which you've weighed out, but that should be fridge cold. You don't wanna be melting that butter as it combines into quite a sticky dough. Transfer it out into cling film, and you're gonna get it into the fridge to set up for at least half an hour, possibly even an hour, so that butter is super cold. So after a fair bit of chilling up, your very sticky dough can come out, and you can roll it onto a heavily floured work surface. Puff pastry is all about layers, so what you wanna do is fold the short end in over one third, and then the last third over the top of that. Turn the whole thing through 90 degrees, roll it back out, and then do exactly the same. First of all, you'll have three folds. Then you'll have nine folds, then 27, then 81. And it keeps doing a multiple of three. You want to do it a total of six times to end up with 700 and something odd layers. That is puff pastry. But you will need to chill it between every two to give the butter a chance to set up. And here we go, back out of the fridge for its last folds and turns. Flowery board. You can see it's beginning to get easier to work with now. Now at some point in one of the sections when your pastry is chilling ready for its next fold, you can make the sausage meat. This is pork sausage meat and I've gone for an amount of pork belly and then four times as much pork shoulder. So it's one to four ratio. All we're gonna do is push it through the mince attachment of the stand mixer and then season it well with salt and pepper, but also smoked paprika and cumin seeds. And now for sausage roll construction. One final roll to about half a centimetre thick, then sausage meat down the middle, sealed with egg wash, rolled over, cut, scored, egg washed again, seasoned with sea salt, Sausage rolls that size, 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. Maybe check them after 15. Ooh. Ooh. Look Ooh. at that. I'm intrigued. Before we look too closely at that, have one of these. Thanks. They look good, mate. Very I tell you nice. what, straight off, nice crispy all the way around. Mm. Sauce and fennel. Mm -hmm. Heavy on garlic as well, but that pastry is the perfect consistency all the way around. Like one complete layer that's just sealed in. I love the different flavours that you can add to sausage meat. 
fennel, nutmeg, onion powder, garlic powder. It just creates a really full flavour. Oh, <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, oh, I, gave, okay, that's why I gave you a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting back on my on your pastry intake. Cheers. So, Sniff it first. I am very excited Cheers. for you to try this. That's even better than before, because what I was going to say was I had a cheeky taste of your filling before it actually went into the pastry. Being vegan, everything in it was cooked. So unlike meat, it was actually you can taste it straight off. Yeah. And I tasted it, it was really good. But once it's baked out, the flavours amalgamate even better. Mm. What I like about it is it's quite earthy and herby off of the sage and stuff. So therefore it actually tastes similarly spiced as a sausage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. There is nothing there that makes you think, I'm not getting as much as I would in a normal sausage roll. Mm. Help yourself to one of those. That is such a good size for a sausage roll. Oh, it's dense. so heavy! It's so dense! Ten years of sorted, we've never made puff pastry. This is the first time. It looks, and I know it's different, but it looks very croissant-y well, in terms of the layers. Well, it's a dough in the sense that it's kind of folded with layers and layers and layers. It's very similar. That is another level, isn't it? Mm. That is another... You can just tell the consistency, the texture of that meat is not sausage meat that you would buy in a supermarket. That is... This is like a gourmet, rustic, butcher's style sausage roll, mm. isn't it? Wow. So this is buttery, buttery puff pastry, but that's what gives you those layers and that crunch and that... Eat the wow. pastry. Eat the pastry on its own. Just do yourself a favour and eat some of that pastry. Oh. If you are a hobbyist and you do want to give homemade puff pastry a go, then that is the recipe for you, bar none. You have to do that. What do you think? I think we've given our opinions here. Let us know what your favourite is by looks. And hey, what should we be comparing and making next? We're going to do that thing we always ask, which is ask you to like the video if you enjoyed any one or, in fact, all three of those sausage roll recipes. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, why not click the subscribe button? And if you have subscribed, why not click the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video? Every Wednesday, every Sunday, 4pm. We'll see you at the next one. Bye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Look, no one likes to know how the sausage gets made. They just like to eat them. <laughs>